Hi everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com again. If you were working in a physical environment, the mask panel would be the X-Acto knife to your masking tape. It allows you to fine-tune both vector and pixel-based masks. Open up the mask panel by clicking on the window menu, and then looking down here to where it says masks, and just make sure that there's a check mark next to masks. If there's not, simply click masks, and the mask panel will open up. In order to work with the mask panel, the first thing we have to do is create a mask. Easiest way to do that is to grab the marquee tool here, create a selection, and then over here in the mask panel, you can either select add a pixel mask or add a vector mask. In this case, I'm just gonna start off with a pixel mask. What this has done is this has created an area of my selection which is now visible and it's hidden everything that wasn't selected. With this in mind, we can come over here to our different controls and alter the appearance of our mask. Density, our first control, will set the opacity of the mask and we can change that in a number of ways. We can either grab this little slider here move it back and forth to whatever percentage we want or we can click on the word density hold down our mouse button and then just move the mouse back and forth the next option down is feather and feather basically softens the mask edge so if we move this slider up to say 58 pixels you can see this creates a nice soft edge around where our mask area was the last three options in this menu are Mask Edge, which brings up the refined mask options. We're going to talk about these in another tutorial. Color Range, which brings up the color selection menu. Again, we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. The last option here is Invert, which will switch the active section of your selection with the masked out portion. Before we talk about the icons at the bottom of the panel, I'm going to open up the Layers panel so that we can see how this affects the various layers that we're working on. As you can see, I have the layer with the mask highlighted here, and we can see a small little thumbnail of the mask next to the thumbnail of the actual image. If we come back up into our masks panel, we can select the circular icon on the left, which will load a selection from the mask. And what that does is basically, whatever area that we have masked off, it creates the selection out of that particular mask. This allows us later to apply that mask to a different layer, by selecting Add Layer Mask here in the Layers panel. Our second option here is Apply Layer Mask. And what that does is it takes the mask and it merges it with the image that we are masking. So if we click on that, you can see that the only thing that's left of our image is the area that we had visible in our mask. I'm just gonna undo that real quick. Select our layer mask again. And then the last option up here in the Masks panel is the Visibility. This allows us to disable or enable a mask. If we click on that, we can see it turns the mask off, or it turns it back on. Finally, we can delete the mask simply by clicking on the trash can. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. You can send all your Photoshop questions to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.